Football 101 with Coach Brett Bielema. Brought to you by Carl, the official health provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Welcome back to Football 101. We're again still just camped out in the film room, Coach. This is good. We're going to keep it rolling. Uh, got a couple plays here. Got five plays to watch. Yeah. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Yeah, this is a, you know kind of a, a unique scenario. So it's a, it's a second and one, so we call this a waist down, right? It's, it's a down that you can do one of three things. A direct run, take a shot play, which this ends up being, or uh, some variation of a game plan run and so, or a game plan call. So this is a really good look here. Um, second and one, we basically go what, what's called FIB. This is formation in the boundary, right? Put three guys, isolate Casey out to the field here. Uh, basically give a little inside zone look, right? And then you're going to see uh, John come out of this with like a little shot play. Coming over here with Casey. Did not know this, right? This is Casey's first touchdown. So he's got a one-on-one -on -one with the safety coming over the top. He does a great job of eluding and finding his way into the end zone with a reach. Uh, gets on the board with a touchdown. And, and, and just, just an awesome moment for a great kid that's having a great year. Well, absolutely. And part of the play, too, I mean, you can tell it obviously happens before the, line, I mean, before the snap, right? So, I mean, he, John knows where the safety is. Corner winds up coming up. And it's just... His ability to process and diagnose that right away is fun it, to watch. It is, and you know, and if you take it in real time, to your point, um, John has an idea this is going to happen because of the position of the safety, right, uh, and the formation that we got. So he'd seen this on film, sees the corner come off of it, and now he knows he got a little honey hole shot. Just a really good throw. Ball's on the outside here where this guy can't make any play, and then this is just a really good execution of what we call run after catch, right? Don't love the reach, but it did him to get him in the end zone and. Obviously, put points on the board. He, needed, next, he needed that touchdown. He, he did. needed that touchdown. He needed, and he's done so many great things. Uh, Mom and Dad raised a great kid. He's truly been, in my opinion, one of the one of the main bright stars of our of our entire season. The way yeah. he's come through for us. So, uh, this gets on the defense side of the ball, and this is uh, kind of a welcome party, all right? So we're basically playing a, a version of man free here. We got uh, guys that are, are are manned up across the board. This is Mac Rossetti, who's in our deep hole player right here, and. If you take just pure math, right, he's literally starts on the hash, begins to creep over a little bit when the ball is snapped, right? But right now he reads that quarterback's eyes. You know, he hasn't thrown it, hasn't thrown it, hasn't thrown it, hasn't thrown it, hasn't thrown it. He literally got to the far hash just on vision and break, and then he goes up and gets this ball high point, catches it, and then gets his feet down in bounds. Just a really awesome play for a young man uh, from Spring Valley. Just, just really cool story. You know, he was going to play junior college baseball right, before we offered him. Wasn't even going to play football anymore. He's going to hang it up after high school. Uh, we, we continue to press him and, and, and stay on him. And this is a Pat Ryan special. He, he identified him early on, talked to all the coaches in, the, in that area. And just to come up with this huge play, big momentum changer, right? At this point on the, bo on the scoreboard, you know, we, we basically are in a you know, situation, Indiana, 27-33, uh, right? And uh, kind of a big moment here, and then this turns to this possession, right, uh, which puts our offense uh, on the field. Uh, this is Reggie coming in, and two things here. This is going to end up being a little uh, a motion by Isaiah to the field. We're going to run a toss play into the boundary here. So first tip Ryman on a down block here, all right. This is Isaiah Adams, very athletic tackle, coming out, getting in space, and you see him work up to the next level. Here you see this corner. He's got a make a career decision here, right? He's got uh, 310 pounds of love from Canada coming at him, all right? But then this is just a really good example here of Ashton Hollins, who when he first got here, he's a wide receiver. If he turned sideways, he couldn't see him or he's so thin, right? And now you'll see him climb up, blocks, gets on the receiver, block gets on here. You see a, 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 basically a great cut by Reggie here and then takes off in the end zone. Just a really, really, really good example of execution from the design of the play to the, the concept of running Isaiah over to draw a little bit of attention over here to him, blocked down by tip, blocked by Ashton, and the block out here by Isaiah. No, that's a great job. And anytime you can get a receiver blocking, and this is you know Indiana's best defender, leading the Big Ten in tackles for loss. So making that play, and then obviously Zy Chrysler getting out there too and the, the cutback behind I me, mean, what a big play. It, it's just amazing. That, I mean, this young man, Ashton Hollins, gave our team prayer Friday night, and the volume and the confidence that he had when he spoke, our team literally, you don't, you know, don't applaud after a lot of prayers, but everybody kind of went nuts because what he said about the big picture and the small picture in that prayer was pretty awesome. And you hit a nail on the head. This guy was the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week a year ago, a week ago. And here's the Ashton Hollins, you know, who, who just gets on him, covers him up, and then Zai kind of finishes him off here. And then, you know, Pearl's making sure he gets involved in the act. He's given the, uh, uh, the touchdown simulation. So a really good moment there and uh, a great moment for our guys. Now, 
A little bit later in the game, obviously overtime, right? So defensively, whatever had gone on, had gone on. So now we're in a critical third and seven. And, um, you know, basically Indiana gets in a two by two, right? We're playing kind of a cover two uh, uh, man look, right? We're going to actually drop down and we're going to roll to a middle post player, right? But they're manned up across the board here. No answers on the outside. So quarterback begins to scramble up inside. And I thought this is just a really good example uh, focus on Johnny, who's going to get vertical. He gets a lot of attention. And then you're going to see uh, uh, Gabe Ackes come and just watch the power of Gabe Ackes' left hand. Watch here. Look at that. So just a, a, another, this is Johnny getting vertical. And now we've got an understunt coming here with Gabe. And then he walks right into a, a second sack of the day and gets that guy down for a loss and really sets up the field goal situation, which then brought us to this. Like everybody knew we were going to come to this play eventually, right? It's a three by one into the boundary, right? Motion Isaiah out to the field. Uh, a really good moment here. This is basically a five man protection across the board. Getting the running back out quick. We got four receivers out in routes. This is basically a concept that Isaiah is going to push at this corner. And then when he sees the leverage on it, he's going to come back inside. And this is ideally where we'd want to hit the throw, right? Mm -hmm. But we have a little bit of pressure come over on the outside right tackle, comes around the edge quick and just see the presence and awareness of John to get high to his right, slide out. He saw Isaiah break away. Now he delivers the ball, just a perfect strike, and the rest of, the, of it is history. It's a beautiful play. It's a beautiful play made possible by a, uh, two really good players that made it all come together and put themselves in a position. I mean, there's nothing there. He can't see it, right? And the awareness to get the depth, right? This is just something you really can't you know, go through and, and, and teach all that much. It's a field play and then to execute it in the back is pretty good. And then my favorite view is here. This is uh, shows the, the protection of it, right? And then in moments like this, this is, this is, you know, a lot of times people will probably be talking about this for years, right? I'm always going to play this little game. Who saw it first, right? <laughs> so there's, I don't know. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, uh, if he had a, a, you know, our signals or knew what was coming, but he knew this was going to be a touchdown right now. He was the first to call it. Everybody else is kind of <laughs> taking it all in. This is the best. This is Aiden Lawfrey, who just had surgery on Tuesday, and you're going to see him. He wants to run out there so bad, right? This police officer, he's probably not supposed to show much emotion. He's doing a double hand jive right here, right? Shaking that dice, right? Like wants to give a high five. Aiden Lawfrey's into it, and then just to see the reaction of so many people really is a special day in, in Memorial history. Special day, great win, two more games to go. One day at a time, get to this Saturday in the Hawkeyes. Absolutely. All right, well, Coach, thank you for the time, and thank you for stopping by Football 101. Football 101 with Coach Brett Bielema, brought to you by Carl, the official health provider of Fighting Illini Athletics.